Hi there, so I'm uh, Steve Archibald from the University of Hull and uh, we've recently um, partnered up with GE to uh, purchase a uh, GenTrace Cyclotron. Now, we, uh, this is something that uh, really fits very well with what we're doing at the University of Hull and in conjunction with a local charity, the Daisy Appeal Charity, and also uh, the NHS who are providing scanning services um, for all of the local population around Hull. Now Hull is in the, it's in the northeast of England, um, it is quite far away from uh, other big cities and it's, it's an ideal place for new technologies where we can supply tracers uh, into our hospital. We already have an extensive research programme at the University of Hull looking towards uh, the more distant future in terms of dose-on-demand tracers, wider variety of tracers required for clinical imaging. We wanted to have, yes, some standard 18F tracer production, but even more important for us and for this type of model was carbon-11. We had to have a, a cyclotron that would produce carbon-11, but we wanted this lower infrastructure, self-shielded cyclotron that would allow us to push forward the agenda that we had and take this into a, a, a clinical one. We were very lucky in terms of our timing because uh, at this point uh, we looked, no carbon-11 producing cyclotron out there that fitted those criteria, and then we, we heard uh, uh, through a, a colleague that GE were uh, developing such a machine. GE came to visit our site, they talked about our requirements um, really when the product was developing and then uh, we were very pleased to see what, uh, what the final product was. It fitted our requirements. It's, it's really a, a great opportunity to, uh, for a site that has not had cyclotron and has not produced in a GMP environment before to take their first steps into that. One thing that's absolutely clear is um, really advantages are going to come through short-lived isotopes. These are things you're not going to be able to deliver. That's okay if all of your patients are within uh, you know, a short a short time frame from your production facility in terms of delivery, but for carbon 11 tracer that's not the case. So uh, the GE cyclotron is a small self-shielded cyclotron with the right characteristics to be able to produce uh, the isotopes we wanted and I think there is, is really some potential there for how this machine could develop in the future. So we're looking forward to, to work with GE and, and really uh, um, demonstrate the capabilities of this instrument.